Hi, this is Shermani from Providence Life Design. Try to squeeze in these videos <laughs> in between these appointments. Um, I just had an appointment that I was so happy um, over how the customer felt with her, you know, her design. She took the initiative to choose a, a, a very um, designer looking marble. When I say designer looking marble, it was intense. It had intense dark veining um, in the marble while the body of it was still fairly um, white. So it, it, it's almost, you know, it looks almost exotic, right? It's quite beautiful. Um, where, where we sell it at, we call it Amadeus. Now, um, another marble or a stone yard may call it something different but it is just gonna come out so gorgeous oh my god she didn't want to change her cabinetry so I just kind of helped her with you know keeping it along the lines of the traditional it's gonna look so good it's gonna look so good I'm so excited um, anyway this video is gonna it's, it's just a, a warning video um, it's a warning video, it's a, you know, just something for you guys to take heed, especially our women, women customers, please, okay? Um, and it is about when you send your installer or you're purchasing with your installer and he is buying surplus and you're not understand, you're not even seeing that he's buying surplus. Um, I want you to get a, a, a general idea of what your materials need to be so you could do some rough calculations for yourself give and take an extra bag or two right but you got to be careful where it starts getting past two three extra bags of setting material because they are doing a few things okay now the hustle it may be different in other parts of the country okay um where i am where you know bad installers are hired and rehired uh, their hustle is to get some kind of like working <laughs> capital towards their next job okay it's like it's like weave it's like you want to get your hair done and you're buying yourself um, you know three bundles of, of really really long weave and then a frontal right and it's like it's like the it's like the style is telling you that you're going to need six bundles plus the frontal what are the other two for what are the other three for you understand she's either going to go and use it to get a credit to go buy something else to do somebody else's hair or she's going to use it for herself there's going to be some kind of theft of something either theft of materials or theft of the refund okay so, for installation material, um, it you know we, I did a video similar to this where they are buying, where they're telling you that they're gonna buy something, and then you buy the more ex the more expensive one, and then you know they could come in and get the different. Like they make money, they make money off of the stuff that you buy, and you may not necessarily need that quantity. So let's think about square footage. Most most setting materials, I know like the real basic mixing mortar, that, that comes in like 80 pound bags and 50 pound bags, maybe 40 pound bags, right? Um, but if you're using like a matte paint product, which carries, you know, excellent setting materials, a large format, tiles and plank, wood, you know, those kind of things, they come in 50 pound bags. One 50 pound bag for floors can do minimum 50 square feet okay if it does a little less than 50 square feet that means that they're trying to build up the floor but they can also use more to mix to do that so it's two for one all right a hundred square feet you're going to need two bags of setting material now that's a hundred square feet for everything if it's your bathroom and your shower pan by itself is only you know 12 square feet and then the bathroom floor is just like another like 30 square feet and then the walls like you're not doing more than 200 square feet then you're not buying more than four bags of setting material not more you know three bags if he's really persnickety and he's very careful then three bags can do the job okay where you're doing like 
150, 140, 130 square feet of tile work. Same thing with that customer that I told you about who was getting abused by her installer. He was wasting it. So that's that's what the, that's what her bleeding was for. Her bleeding was that her product was being wasted and possibly being stolen. Okay, and then in some cases, you know, they just they're just like returning it. Um, I think I'm gonna attach a photo to preface this video for IGTV of a return that was done, and I'm gonna count the bags of thin set. And then what you see in the photo isn't even everything. Okay. And then I'm also going to include in that video, it's going to include that picture that, that, you know, this thing is going to show how much work could this material have done. So then you see like, okay, then when the installer comes back, it's like you're thinking he's just cleaning up. But no, he's returning it and, and getting either a store credit to pay for the materials for his next job, okay, or he is going to try to fight the cashier down to get a cash return if you use your debit card. Now, if they know what they're doing, there shouldn't even be a cash return. Um, and if there's a cash return, I mean, he needed to provide adequate identification, that, you know. But then, even if he pr provides adequate uh, identification, you may still be able to connect the installer to the sale if he's using it to get like installer points and things like that, depending on what retailer, retailer you're dealing with. Ideally, you want to make sure that anything that's returned, that it goes back on your credit card, okay? Or if you feel like you want to do this for your installer, you, you're all on board, then you may want to accompany him to the store to, you know, find out what all of your allowances and rights are as the, as the client, as the customer, okay? So just be careful with overbuying material um, and think about what your square footage is. Um, the other thing too, the other loophole that I found is that they may, this is why you need to get more than one quote. Even if you know who it is that you're going to choose, get more than one quote. Because two people shown the same amount of space cannot give you a square footage that exceeds 25, 50 square feet. Indifference. No. One guy, you can't show him, please, I want you to tell this main living area, and this guy tells you it's going to be 450 square feet, and the next guy comes and tells you it's going to be 650, 700 square feet. No, that doesn't add up. Then you may just have to go and get your own little measuring tape and go and do some measure. Okay, I'll get a third person. That's what I recommend. I always tell my women customers, get three quotes, please. Get three quotes. Even if it's even if it's like my own personal customer, and um, you know they're 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 considering you know looking other ways to get their other quotes or whatever, and I send somebody, you don't have to you don't have to like agree on my guy, okay? I still want you to interview people, okay? Because these are who are going to be in your house, okay? We need to have scenic examples of their work and that type of thing. All right. So this is Shamrani from Providence Life Design, and this video is just about being careful on quantity of installation material to be sure that you know you're not a victim of theft. Theft. It's theft either way, however you want to do it, or a wasteful installer. But most times it's theft, right? So, you, and that's sad because then that's a character flaw, right? And it's somebody working in your home. God. So that's why I told you about how to, you know, get your little ratios going so you know, okay, this is going to be more than enough. And then if I have to return, at least I know I'm only returning three bags, four bags, right? Not just this oblivion of, like, material that cannot fit my car. I'm not going to be able to get it in the store. You take care of it. Then be aware that you're giving away so that it's not theft. All right. Shimani from Providence Life Design. Have a blessed day.